CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 141 through 145 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 141. A security analyst is investigating suspicious activity on a server and finds that malicious code was copied directly into the allocated space of an already running process, allowing it to execute without being written to disk. Which of the following best describes this technique? The answer is C. Memory injection. Memory injection is a technique used by attackers to insert malicious code into the memory space of a legitimate, already running process. This allows the code to execute in memory without touching the file system, making it harder to detect using traditional file-based antivirus solutions. Since the process appears legitimate, the attack can bypass some security controls and maintain persistence without raising immediate suspicion. Question 142. A security administrator has enforced full disk encryption across all employee laptops to ensure that sensitive company data remains unreadable if a device is lost or stolen. Which of the following security principles is being applied? The answer is D. Confidentiality. Confidentiality is the security principle focused on preventing unauthorized access to data. Full disk encryption ensures that data stored on a device cannot be read without proper authentication, even if the device is physically stolen. This protects sensitive information and aligns with confidentiality goals by making the data unreadable to anyone who is not authorized to view it. Question 143. An administrator has configured a quarantine submit to isolate guest and unmanaged devices when they first connect to the network. Before granting access to corporate systems, which of the following would best help the security team determine if the devices meet security requirements? The answer is B. Compliance Attestation Compliance attestation is the process by which a device or user confirms that specific security requirements are met before gaining access to a network. When guest or unmanaged devices are placed in a quarantine submit, compliance attestation can verify things like operating system version, antivirus status, and required patches. This ensures that only devices meeting the organization's security standards are allowed onto the corporate network. Question 144. An internal audit revealed that staff members are unclear on how to report phishing emails and respond to suspected business email compromise. Leadership wants to improve organizational readiness by updating documentation to guide how such incidents should be identified and handled. Which of the following documents should be reviewed and revised? The answer is B. IRP. An Incident Response Plan, or IRP for short, outlines the steps an organization should take to detect, respond to, and recover from security incidents. Keeping this document up to date ensures that all teams understand their roles and responsibilities during a security event. A well-defined IRP improves coordination, reduces response time, and helps limit the impact of future incidents. Question 145. A software development team wants to improve the security of its applications by testing them from both offensive and defensive perspectives during the development process. Developers will collaborate closely with testers to identify vulnerabilities and harden the code. Which of the following team designations best fits this methodology? The answer is A. Yellow. The yellow team refers to developers who focus on integrating secure coding practices while working collaboratively with both red and blue teams. This approach uses a mix of offensive and defensive testing methods to build secure applications from the ground up. The yellow team's goal is to integrate security into the software development lifecycle through continuous testing and developer-focused improvements. 
Now, for the security certification exam, it's helpful to know the role of not just the yellow team, but all the other colored teams as well, since each represents a distinct security function. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.